What happens to us after we take our final breath? Is there an existence beyond the veil of death? These are questions that have intrigued humanity since time immemorial. This enigma, the concept of life after death, has woven itself into the fabric of our collective consciousness, a tapestry of curiosity, fear, and fascination. The notion of an existence beyond death is not just confined to religious or spiritual beliefs. Science, too, has dipped its toes into these mystic waters, offering theories and studies that attempt to shed light on this profound mystery. One such area of study is near-death experiences, instances where individuals claim to have experienced a different realm of existence during moments of clinical death. These experiences, often described as deeply transformative, provide a tantalizing glimpse into what might lie beyond the veil. Today, we delve into the profound mystery of life after death, guided by the experiences of those who claim to have got a glimpse beyond. There exist countless tales of individuals who faced death and returned, each bearing a unique story. Imagine this, a sudden serene detachment from life as we know it, an overwhelming calmness washing over you, and a sensation of moving through a tunnel towards a brilliant light. This is a common narrative among those who've had near-death experiences, but these accounts are as diverse as the individuals who've lived through them. Take the case of a woman who, during a moment of clinical death, found herself in a garden of extraordinary beauty. She described an intense feeling of peace and unconditional love. She encountered deceased relatives and felt an overwhelming sense of belonging. Then there's the story of a man who experienced what he described as a life review. He saw his entire life play out in vivid detail, from his earliest childhood memories to the moments just before his near-death experience. He described it as watching a movie of his life, but with an added sense of profound understanding. But not all these experiences are alike. Some recount a sense of detachment and tranquility, while others report a surge of emotions. Some see a tunnel and light. Others find themselves in a different realm altogether. And then there are those who've had distressing near-death experiences, filled with feelings of isolation, fear, or guilt. These experiences are less common, but they serve as a stark contrast to the peaceful narratives that dominate the conversation. As we delve into these accounts, we notice a common thread, a profound shift in the individual's perspective on life and death. Many return with a renewed sense of purpose, a deeper understanding of life's interconnectedness, and a diminished fear of death. But what does science have to say about these experiences? Some researchers attribute these experiences to the brain's response to extreme stress. Others suggest that they might be hallucinations triggered by a lack of oxygen. However, these explanations remain speculative, and the phenomenon of near-death experiences continues to baffle scientists. These stories, as varied as they are, seem to hint at a reality beyond our everyday existence. But what can we make of these experiences? The interpretations of near-death experiences are as diverse as the experiences themselves. A vast spectrum of explanations arises when we delve into the realm of the unexplained, each theory offering a unique lens through which we can examine these profound experiences. On one end, we have the scientific interpretations. These theories often focus on the physiological processes at play during these critical moments. One such theory is the dying brain hypothesis. This theory suggests that as the brain starves of oxygen, it triggers a series of neurological events that can account for the vivid and often transformative experiences people report. However, not all interpretations are rooted in the physical. Many turn to spiritual or metaphysical explanations. Some believe that near-death experiences are a glimpse into a spiritual transition, a journey of the soul from the physical plane to the spiritual. For these individuals, these experiences are not the result of a dying brain, but the awakening of the spirit as it prepares to embark on its next journey. Yet another perspective considers the role of cultural conditioning. After all, our beliefs and expectations about death and the afterlife are largely influenced by our cultural and religious upbringing. Could it be that our near-death experiences are simply reflections of these deeply ingrained beliefs? Each interpretation, whether it leans towards the scientific or the spiritual, offers a unique perspective on the enigma of life and death. However, it's important to remember that these experiences are deeply personal and subjective. What they mean to the person experiencing them may differ greatly from what they mean to us. While the truth of what lies beyond remains shrouded in mystery, these glimpses into the possible afterlife continue to fascinate and provoke thought. 
In our quest to unravel the mysteries of existence, perhaps these experiences serve as valuable reminders of our shared human curiosity about what lies beyond the veil of life. Today, we've journeyed through the enigmatic realm of life after death. We've traversed the nebulous landscape of near-death experiences, each a unique interpretation, a glimpse beyond the veil. We've grappled with their implications, untangling the intricate threads of existence, life and death. It's a vast tapestry of mystery and wonder, an ongoing exploration of the great unknown. As we continue to ponder the mysteries of the afterlife, we are reminded of the preciousness of the life we're living now. Until next time, keep exploring the enigma that is existence.